guys, today it's Aiden and No Barrett behind you. We're gonna be repairing this uh, antique traffic light. We're gonna do this and we start to get all the rust and stuff off. So we'll just do a montage of us doing this and traffic light repair test one. These things are so strong, if you put your finger to it and barely even move it, you can scratch your whole finger up. So, uh, also, when you also do this, you need to make sure that when you're doing it, when you're moving it, these little things are hitting hard metal and they're going to fly off. So you need to keep your eyes and try to keep all your body parts away from this and that kind of like section. Like, don't do this, kind of put your hand and arms back here. I like to hold it sideways. Works better. So yeah. Not bad for a beginner. You know something you could do? Hmm. You could like you turn it back. And and you might goof it up like that. Maybe. Or you could just do this. It'd take all day that way. Yeah. And also something you need to know is don't do it like this the entire time. Don't go the whole time because it will warm up the metal and it will just mess your metal up. Like This looks pretty good. You have to get some smaller brushes for these details and under here and stuff because those are some important things to get because people are going to see those. So... When doing a traffic light repair, you always need to get all the crevices and corners because if it gets too wet, like this, that's rust and stuff. We're also making some over there. We got that piece we made. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, this is the second piece for second light, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get to it.